Hello, I'm Ram Krishna Karki. I'll be showing you on how to create a relational data model from the given ER diagram of Zazi Retail Company Sales Department database. In the ER diagram, we can see the entities in the rectangular boxes like the region, store, sales transaction, product, vendor, category, and customer. And similarly, we can see the attributes in the oval shapes like the region ID, region name, product ID, and many more. The diamond shapes represent the relations between two entities. Now, let me make the ER diagram for this relations. Let me take the entity region to make the first table. Let me drag it. Let me push it this way to make enough space on this side. Okay get a table from here and then drag this table up to here okay. the entity over here will be the reason and the unique key that is the primary key over here is reason ID it is a primary key and the normal attribute is reason name okay. <coughs> let me make this table a little bit smaller this way okay now let me get another table <coughs> for store right over here the entity is store the primary key is store ID and the normal attribute is store zip Let me leave this row 2 and row 3 as it is for now. Uh, I'll work on it later on. Okay. Now let me add another entity and drag a table for product. Drag up to here. Product, the primary key is product ID. And then the normal attributes are product price and product name. Product price and product name. And product name. Okay. Okay. This one too. Let me make it a little bit smaller. It looks better. Now the next one is for sales transaction. Yeah, I'm keeping the boxes in the same arrangements as that of the ER diagram because it'll be easier for me to show the relations after I complete the tables. Now for this sales transaction is the entity. The primary key is transaction ID. And the normal attribute is T date transaction date. Okay, let me make the box a little bit smaller so that I can have enough space for everything. Now the next belongs to vendor 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 category and customer. Let me drag all the tables at the same time so that it will be easier for me. And I don't have to drag every single time. I finish another one okay these are the three tables okay let me start with vendor the entity is vendor the primary key for vendor is vendor ID vendor ID the normal attribute is vendor name That's all for the vendor too. Let me make it smaller. Smaller makes it look beautiful and nice. For this table, we have entity as category, and the primary key is category ID. The normal attributes are category name, category name. That's all for category too. Make it smaller. 
Now the final table is for customer. Customer is the entity. For this table, the primary key for customer is customer ID. <coughs> and the normal attributes are customer name and customer zip and customer zip okay that's all like in this way i have shown all the entities and attributes in the table form now let me show the relations between all the entities and from the er diagram the relation between region and store is one to many relationship that means every region can have many stores but a, only a single store is located in a region so in this case of one to many relationship the region the region the region from the region id is the primary key at region and which acts as a foreign key in linking the store id so we will put region ID as a foreign key in store. So it will be over here. ID is a foreign key. Okay. Likewise, the relation between store and sales transaction. Store and sales transaction is also one to many. This is like if the store can have many sales transactions, and only a single sales transaction can occur at a store so the store id at store acts as a foreign key in sales transaction and helps in linking transaction id so let me add over here store id store id it acts as a foreign key now similarly the relation between sales transaction and customer it is also one to many it says every customer can have many sales transactions and only a single trans and then a transaction can have only one customer so in this case customer id acts as a foreign key for sales transaction customer id and foreign key okay now let me go up over here now the relation between product and sales transaction is many to many relationship now in case of many to many relation relationship we need to create a separate table because it consists of the combined primary key and because the product it is a product can have many sales transaction and a sales transaction includes different products so that's the reason let's make another table I'll try to create this table in between over here. Let me drag it this table a little bit up and then this table uh, right here. Okay. Now over here the entity will be includes and the primary key and a foreign key too the primary key is product id which acts as a foreign key and a primary key foreign key for sales transaction and primary key for product that will be product id product id and similarly the second primary key and the second foreign key and the primary key is did like and uh, likewise there is an another attribute so that we have to have it over here quantity quantity okay that's all mm -hmm. i'm trying to make it smaller okay now the relation between product and vendor it is also one to many it says every vendor can have different products and then a product is only supplied to a vendor only a single product is supplied to a vendor 
so the vendor id acts as a primary key in vendor and which is which acts as a foreign key in the product so let's put over here not in the vendor in the product vendor id it is a foreign key now likewise the relation between product and category is also one to many a product can have only single category a category can have belongs to a different product so category id acts as a foreign key for the product category id okay now i think this way i have tried to allocate all the foreign keys and primary keys let me work on to make the table a little bit beautiful and smaller because we don't need this let's take it out and then even this one that makes the table a little bit smaller drag this table a little bit up over here and we don't need this one to remove it trying to make it a little bit smaller okay now likewise this table is okay it has everything full and over here we don't need this one let's move this one too now this table over here is okay too let me drag it a little bit this way over here okay now this three consecutive tables we don't need this one remove this one we don't need to go through to remove this one drag this a little bit up so that we can have enough space and then we don't need for this one we don't need this one too over here for customer we don't need this one no. this way I have completed okay now you can see every now this way I have completed all the foreign keys and primary keys in the tables now let me link the foreign keys with the primary keys you now region ID and it is over there okay and the foreign key product ID and foreign key has a Similarly, now store ID. Store ID is over here. Okay. Customer ID. Okay. 
now comes category ID and vendor ID This is the complete ER, this is the complete relational database model or relational schema of the given ER diagram of Jazzy Retail Company Sales Department Database. Here we have region, store, sales transaction, product, vendor, category, customers. And I hope this is the product exact connection and the linking of foreign keys and primary keys. Thank you.